Have you ever found yourself daydreaming about a fully booked retreat with eager participants counting down the days? Well, you're not alone. One way to turn that dream into reality might be through what's called early bird pricing. In this video, I share what it is, the pros and cons of using it in your marketing strategy, and by the end, you'll see if it's the right fit for your yoga and wellness retreat business. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Tiffany. My aim is to make marketing retreats easier and most importantly, generating results. If you would like to learn more about marketing retreats, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. What is early bird pricing? Think of early bird pricing as a friendly invitation to those who are excited about your retreat, but who might need a little encouragement to take the leap to book with you. It's a reward in the form of a discount to those who book early, in simple terms. So let's have a look at the pros of early bird pricing. First of all, it creates a buzz. People still and will always be interested in discounts. It's human nature. It's like sending out that golden ticket. A limited time offer can make people feel special, trigger fear of missing out, and prompt them to book a spot at your retreat now rather than later or forgetting to do it later. It also builds excitement. And who doesn't love a good deal? It's a conversation starter and can get people talking about your retreat. It's also a helping hand in planning. So knowing who's actually coming earlier helps with all those behind the scenes details like how many yoga mats you'll need or what to cook for dinner for uh, 10 people or versus two people. But there's also cons of the early bird pricing, which you should know about. You might miss out on some cash. If your retreat's really popular, you might fill up without needing the actual discount. So if you had the discount, you're losing out on that margin. And what's the real value? You don't want people to think that the discount means less quality. Make sure that they know they're getting an amazing experience at a friendly price. So you focus more on the experience and oh my goodness, you get it at such a great price. It also makes keeping track of prices a little bit tricky. Juggling those prices can be a bit overwhelming, but with the right tools in place, you will find your balance. You just have to test it out. So how to make those early bird pricing strategies work for you. You need to set clear deadlines. Like RSVPing to a party, let people know when the offer actually ends. Then share the love. Tell them all about the wonderful experiences waiting for them, not just the price cut. And make it pretty. A beautiful flyer or social media post can catch the eye and the heart of a potential client. And keep an eye on things. See how's it going and learn for the next time. It's all about learning. Early bird pricing is like a special ingredient in your marketing recipe. You don't have to use it, but it could be that little extra that makes the retreat a success. It's one thing deciding to offer early bird pricing. It's another to know how to promote it. Make sure you watch my How to Market a Wellness Retreat two-part series to learn how to market your retreat. I've linked the videos above here. So, dear friend, is early bird pricing the magic potion for your retreat? It might be. It's got its charms and its challenges, but with understanding and a bit dash of creativity, it could be just what you need. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried the early bird pricing before and if it worked, and also tell me if it did not. Bye for now.